Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Comedy Kitchen. If you are just joining us, we are finishing up our three-part Valentine's Day meal. Uh, let's take a look at the menu, give them a little recap. Great. Today, we're making our dessert, or as I like to call it, the clencher. Chocolate-covered strawberries with smoked sea salt. Chocolate on Valentine's Day is essential. Pretty sure it's a law. And strawberries? Come on. What's more romantic than strawberries? Don't buy a box of chocolates this year. You can do better than that. By the way, what's up with those boxes of seized chocolates where they don't label the flavor of each chocolate and you just have to guess? I don't wanna play Russian roulette with my chocolate, okay? Just tell me which one is raspberry so I can avoid it and let's move on. All right, part three, let's get romantic. Here we go. All right, there's a couple different ways that we can melt the chocolate. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to use a double boiler method, but you can also just melt the chocolate in the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time until it's melted. So let's heat up some water in a small saucepan and let's bring this to a simmer. All right, this is simmering, so let's take our chocolate. Where did the, where did the chocolate go? All right, let's put our chocolate in a bowl and let's place it on top and we will just sort of gently stir this around until it's melted. Because it's Valentine's Day, I would recommend going out and getting a nice chocolate bar uh, to melt down as opposed to using these cheap chocolate chips uh, that I'm using here. You can see that's getting nice and melted. We don't wanna do this too fast. We wanna make sure it's very gentle. All right, I'm gonna push this aside. I've got a baking sheet lined with some wax paper there, and I've got about a half a pound of strawberries left over from the salad recipe in part one of our recipe set. Make sure that your strawberries are super dry. Uh, when the water mixes with chocolate, it can cause a reaction and it's not gonna be pretty for us. So just make sure your strawberries are dry. All right, and we're just gonna take our strawberries dip them, maybe twist them around a little bit. We'll let any excess chocolate kind of drip off there. Let's put them on our wax lined baking sheet. And then we're gonna actually pull these back a little bit. And that's gonna help avoid any big clump of chocolate on the bottom. If it helps, you can also take a toothpick or a skewer and stick it in the strawberry and dip just like that. Uh, makes it nice and easy. While the chocolate is still warm, we're gonna take some smoked sea salt and we're just gonna sprinkle it with a good pinch. Some of you out there might be thinking, Ben, what the hell is smoked sea salt? What's the deal? What I like about this smoked sea salt is that it's got a lightly smoky flavor, but it's also nice, flat, big granules. So that way we're gonna get a nice crunch, a nice burst of salt that we're not gonna be able to get with regular table salt. Look, nobody's paying me to say this. I don't have any sponsors on the show. I just think that it's a really tasty ingredient and I think that everything you put it on sounds super sophisticated and fancy. And I am all about fooling people into thinking I am sophisticated and fancy. <laughs> you can also take the strawberries on the skewer or the toothpick and stick them in a styrofoam block uh, to make sure there's no flat spots on the bottom, but I don't have any styrofoam, so this works just fine for me. All right, let's put these in the fridge and let them chill out for about 30 minutes. Let's take out a nice pretty dish. Let's put some strawberries on the plate. And we are ready to serve. Look how freaking cute that is. Hey, a sincere thank you for joining me for this Valentine's Day recipe set. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I really hope you guys made the recipes and enjoyed them. And if you have any questions about anything, please hit me up. I'm more than happy to help. And we will see you right back here next time on Comedy Kitchen. Thank you.